channel we are still in easter series and today we're making chicken puffs i must tell you about these chicken puffs that i had when i was a kid they are from a place called mekrig it's in bombay and i grew up absolutely enjoying them because the filling was made with this chicken and white sauce a little mustard it had pepper in it it was so good and i would have like six in one go and today i'm going to be trying to recreate that and i think i've come pretty close i must say i've done a lot of testing on this but i'm pretty happy with where it is right now we are going to be using pre-cooked chicken so if you've got leftover chicken from a roast or you've got some chicken breasts in the freezer this is a good way to just use it up it's a simple recipe i'm going to be using store-bought puff pastry so we don't have to make it it's also really quick and easy snack that you can make in advance and you can just bake them up in no time so enough yapping and let's just start cooking so to start off i'm gonna make my white sauce this white sauce is gonna be rather thicker than usual because i want it to hold within the pastry while it bakes So my white sauce is ready. It's it's still a bit hot. I need to let it cool down before we can add it into the pastry. But I'm going to chop up my I'm going to chop up my chicken and I'm going to add that into the sauce and then we're going to fill it into the pastry. So chicken chopping time. Chicken chopping. Chicken chicken chopping. <laughs> okay. Just chicken chopping time. So now I've got my chicken in the white sauce. I want to add a little bit of mustard and that just adds all the difference, trust me. So as it cools down, it does get thicker. You can see that and this is the texture we want. We're going to do a slight egg wash and this is going to give it a really nice golden brown color as it bakes. So once you've done the egg wash, you want to add a bit of sesame seeds on the top. And we'll add some onion seeds as well. This is optional, but I really like it. They look so cute. Time to bake. Okay, it's time to taste. I don't know if you can see, but there's a lot of steam coming out of this puff. It's just come out of the oven. I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna risk it just for you. I'm gonna take a tiny bite out of the side, okay? Because the sides are obviously like less hotter than the center. My mama always told me that. Six hours later. It's still hot, my mama lied. <laughs> the pastry is so flaky, but that filling is soft and it's it's like, can you see that? It's just so oozy and it's so yummy. That's the cheese, it's the sauce, but we want to make a thick sauce here because if we made it any thinner, it would just run out. We want it to hold its shape. Can you say we wanted to hold its shape? Like it's not messy, but it's still juicy. You know, I'm just gonna have another bite at the risk of burning my tongue, it's fine. Don't mind me. So this is how I make my chicken puffs. You can serve them with a bit of ketchup, hot sauce. 
I love them on its own. You can add more filling, but that will reduce the number of puffs you're gonna get at the end of it. If you like them really nice and big like I do, I mean, just look at that. It's absolutely perfect. This is perfect with some tea. It's lovely on its own. They are great travel friendly, pockets of happiness if you want to call them but they are really really yummy it's a piece of my childhood i was introduced to these by my dad actually when he used to go to mccraig's all the time like i mentioned and buy them so you guys you gotta try it please just give it a go the filling is so simple you could even use the filling by the way in like sandwiches you can toast up some bread you can slather some of that chicken on it is really really yummy so without I think wasting more time, I'm just gonna say positive ninja vibes. No, 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 no positive ninja vibes. No, no, <laughs> you have to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe. There's new videos coming out every Tuesday, every Friday, 2 p.m. GST, but don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Now, positive ninja vibes.